there will be two features that will work alongside each other first is the actual dive mode to set when the dive occurred secondly is the log data where all the dive data was saved and compared from timekeeping mode or any mode you can quickly access the dive mode by pressing and holding this mode button down here for one second and there it is. To give you the best example, I'm gonna go back in time a little bit earlier today at 5.53 p.m. when I'm going to start my dive. So press forward once, immediately the time will start. On top left corner, it will show the time that my dive actually start. Top right corner will show current local time as always progressing every minute. And down here in the middle will show actual dive time. I'm gonna speed this video a little bit to make it easier to see. And notice the ring inside there next to the tight graph. It's actually a second indicator, but now it turns into minutes indicator. So it is actually a very convenient way to tell how many minutes you're already underwater and when for when is the time will up for you. I'm gonna wait a little bit for about 15 minutes here and done. Press forward and hold it for one second and the time dive will stop press it just once just like that and automatically everything will set to zero and the dive data was safe to make this example even better let's go all the way back to 3 a.m the morning and then i'm gonna set another dive and then we'll go to log data to see the time comparison and how to look at everything again 3 57 in the morning press forward once and the Immediately the time will start again. This is the same thing all over again. Top left corner will show my dive time start and top right corner will show current local time and down in the middle will show my dive timer. So it is now 3.57 in the morning. Let's just say I'm diving early in the morning. Let's speed the time a little bit. It's already about 3 minutes so you're not going to notice much about the minutes ring up there. So yeah, already 5 minutes. It's too cold in here. It's time to go out of the water and end this dive. Hold the lock or forward button for one second and the beep sound and the timer will stop. To reset it at the same time, save this data, you need to press adjust and hold it. There it is. To check our lock data, first thing we need to do is go back to timekeeping mode and to do that is just to press mode and hold it for one second and we are now here. To go to lock data functions, just fairly easy, press mode once and there it is. So this part will show the latest diving data which is at 4.49 I accidentally pressed it by pressing lock data buttons over here we'll go back to the previous dive which is at 3.57 which I just dived just now about 5 minutes and 13 seconds and the date is 18th December press lock data again and we'll go to previous the first dive mode which is at 5.53 and the date 17th December this is the dive time I uh, dive about 49 minutes and 29 seconds when I press it you're gonna notice this three this is the third data this is the second data this is the first data that are recorded in here Just keep repeating the same process all over again you can store about up to 10 on top of here if you notice they didn't show the date because this is actually the time interval to my next dive let's just say I'm gonna dive now press and hold the dive Let's go it really quick. Just about, I'm gonna go dive at 4.53 a.m. This is current local time. I'm gonna dive about 10 seconds. Let's wait a little bit. Nine and 10, hold this. All right, I just dive about 11 seconds. Let's go check the log data. So 11 seconds and I dive at 4.53 and this will be the interval be between this dive and my next dive. This part will be max about 48 hours. Just like what had happened to me, I mistakenly used the dive mode so it will still automatically save data, the data even though I don't want it. It will automatically clear all the data. You cannot just erase one specific data that you don't want. So go buy every data, press adjust and hold it for 3 seconds. The clear will beep and everything is cleared up. No more data gone and you cannot transfer this data out by bluetooth or any method whatsoever into your computer or phone the only way you could do this is manual writing back down on a piece of paper for your reference or for whatever reason you want to use on your diving mode one more interesting part about a frogman is that at any functions the backlight is set to default 
to 1.5 seconds. Let me show it again. There it is. However, if you enter the dive mode, backlight setting at this mode will be default at 3 seconds and 3 seconds only. There's no way you could add or minus that. So let's test it out. And there it is. A little bit longer, right? Minor things like this is really you know, convenient, especially when you're diving underwater. It's pretty dark down there. So obviously, you're gonna need more time to check the data on your watch, more light basically. So adding this with the auto light functions, just flick your wrist and it will light up for 3 seconds. That is really a game changer for any diver. Until then, see you guys in my next G-Vlog. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and I'm... Um...